Hi, welcome to week nine. I just wanted to go over some of the reading and assignments for this week so that you can be all done with the annotated bib and start on the final research paper. So this week you have some readings due in Pearson, uh, writing as a problem solving process. Your um, discussion post will involve these 10 habits to improve your writing process. So you want to be sure to do that. And then there's just some editing exercises. And these you're going to have more and more towards the end of this course so that you can have a really nice final draft. There's a prompt sheet here for the rhetorical analysis. So to be sure that you're on track with doing that, don't forget the summary. This was the one thing I kept seeing missing from some of the outlines was no summary. And the good thing about this assignment is you got to pick whatever article you wanted to analyze. Uh, the bad thing is I haven't read 60 different articles, so you need to be sure and include that summary. If you kind of look at this checklist before you turn it in, you can kind of see what you need to have in the paper. And you could even almost call this a little bit of an outline. So you want to have an introduction that presents the topic that your article addresses with an appropriate summary and a thesis statement that presents two or more of the rhetorical points that you will be analyzing. So it should say something about ethos, pathos, logos, and it needs to say something about being effective or not. Because everybody, no matter what they do or what they write or what they say, use ethos, pathos, and logos to convince you of their argument. You're going to have this examination of the audience. This was covered in the questions that you did for homework and a brief look at the genre, an analysis of the author's language choices, uh, his, and then the appeal to ethos, pathos, and logos. And this was a big part of the questions you use. These three paragraphs is basically the body of this paper. You want to analyze evidence and look at angle of vision and then have a conclusion. So that's basically it. Once you get Get these things into your paper, you should do fine. There's the prompt sheet is included. I also included those samples again in case you wanted to take a look at how to do this paper. And then here's a PowerPoint on the reading this week. Uh, here's where the final draft drop box is. And basically, here's the checklist again for you. Uh, how to check your safe assign report. This is important because you are going to be graded on this. If it's way more than 10%, you'll have to redo it. I'll, I'll ask you to redo it because you're allowed to have someone else write 10% of your paper. It's really easy to check, so just check it and make sure it's below 10%. If it's all your works cited page, then you just don't even count that because that'll a lot of times your works cited page will come up all highlighted because somebody else has used the article in some other paper. And then um, be sh and then quote. So be sure that everything that comes up highlighted, if you're quoting, it has quotes around it and that you're using less than 10%. Uh, here's how to check feedback and grades in there. And then, like I said, your discussion post is about these 10 habits of experienced writers. So after this paper, you're going to then launch into the final paper, which is this research paper. And it should be fairly easy. I think this paper, the rhetorical critique, tends to be the hardest paper that students do, mainly because they haven't done one of these before. The tutor review mm -hmm. comments that I've seen so far have been really good, so um, get them turned in. Uh, if your rhetorical response paper is review is late, so you're waiting for a tutor review, just just wait until it comes back before you submit a final draft. Don't submit a final draft without looking at the tutor review. Because what I do is if I read your final paper and I look at it and say, oh, I already read, this sounds super familiar. And then I go back and look at your tutor review and it's the same exact paper, you'll get a zero on your tutor review. The tutor review, your rough draft, the final draft has to have changes. If there's no changes, then the tutor review did you no good, so you won't get those po those points. Um, sometimes, if you're having you're having to wait a long time on the tutor reviews to come back, you might have to put it 
in both reviews so you can get one back, but you should have it back by now. If you don't, don't worry too much about it. Next week, we'll start on the final draft and um, of the research paper, and then you'll be complete with this course. The reading, we're getting close to 100 points. We're almost there, so just keep reading. If you have any questions, contact me, and I'd be more than happy to help you out. Have a great week nine.